but you guys are so sweet and amazing you're giving me some beautiful feedback and i'm totally appreciative 94 dollar batch i said oh excuse me hey guys welcome back to driving with jazz of drivingwithjazz.com i'm jazz of course y'all i was on my way to the house okay i went to go get me a breakfast sandwich that's it it's 10 19 a.m went to go get me a breakfast sandwich i had so many intents on coming here and lighting my breakfast sandwich up with some grape and strawberry jelly right so i'm on my way home i got the notifications going nothing is appealing to me i was just gonna chill and come home and eat my food gracefully keep my energy right get it right and you know leave out honey there was a arrow going to the left like when you're in the left lane trying to turn left and the arrow goes yellow i saw like a 94 dollar batch i said oh excuse me and you know normally at that light you try to you try to make it i said uh, uh i'm about to stop stop looked at the order i didn't actually i don't even know what this order entails to be honest with you now i can't even find out but it's 45 items and 45 units at a costco and get this i didn't even know i lived this close to a costco i'm literally like three miles away apparently who knew i don't even shop at costco it's only me so y'all i'm like what this is sickening so we're gonna see if, if first of all we're gonna see if they actually keep the tip there and another caveat here is we don't know what items they ordered okay um we don't know what they ordered or anything so they could be ordering hell tissue and all the stuff that we all already know is unavailable and that's why they're like oh we'll give you a 74 dollar tip if you're able to find these items i have been receiving notifications that um you know we can go in the back door or the basically the designated area for loading because we are instacarters so damn oh i got some jelly okay girl all right you got some jelly one thing that i totally forgot to mention um is that i actually had this conversation with myself maybe two two nights ago i think yeah two nights ago and i was thinking to myself i was like yo it would be so nice if i just got a hundred dollar batch and blah 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 and i sat on it for a second and then i let it go boom this morning 10 o'clock a.m 94 dollar batch close enough to 100 dollars. and yeah so you know knowing what you want out of everything is so important being intentional that's why on an energetic level i may accept a 20 dollar, you know a 20 dollar batch if it just makes sense to me like if it's like okay 20 items maybe even 30 items for 20 bucks that's fine you know but ultimately i know what i want i know that i want to you know optimize my time and my efforts and yeah and i just think it's so dope so uh, from a from a logical perspective leaving magic out of it or the esoterics out of it um it's like there are tons of wealthy people here in phoenix scottsdale all over and you would never know i mean real wealth like you know we're not talking about gucci belts and who, who what louis bags and stuff like it's dumb people yeah they're okay you know but the people who got real real money real money they're here and they don't mind tipping and i'm a person i'm not the wealthiest person alive either but i always tip people and very heavy because i know that's come you know i know it comes back to me essentially and i know first, first and foremost that people appreciate it and we all need it so why not share the wealth you know what i mean so the fact that there's a 75 dollar tip yeah that's cool uh but that may be nothing to, to half these people or maybe a quarter maybe 20 percent that live here <laughs> but yeah so i just wanted to share that because i felt that it's so necessary to you know exist on a higher vibration so that you can truly attract what it is that you want i was just thinking to myself like all these videos i have not seen any videos where people are getting 60 dollars batches 30 dollars maybe 30 dollars of course 60 dollars batches 75 dollars batches i have yet to see um those videos yet beside mine so if you guys know anybody who's getting like really heavy batches i would love to know comment down below and tag them or their video um so that i can go take a look just because i want to see like what else is happening in other states you know i'm in phoenix of, of course as you guys know um so that's just what's happening here 
So um, yeah guys, I just wanted to talk about that. It's so important and I had somebody comment and say they wanna know more about my manifestation and how I've been working on that for almost 10 years now. So you can click the link above and I'm gonna tag a video from my other channel so you can take a look at it. So as you can see, all this person wants is food. So I'm super excited. I'm like, okay, nothing crazy, no waters, no Lysol, no hand sanitizer, nothing that they know we're out of, so I'm super excited about that. But yeah, I'm like, okay, Costco sells shoes, yo, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. <laughs> One thing for sure is that they're not telling us which aisle things are in, so um, I don't know where to find corn in. Nothing has an aisle, it doesn't have any additional information, so yeah. Other than that, though, I'm enjoying this one. So I'm officially done. It took me like an hour and 15 to 20 minutes. Not too bad. However, the lady is not responding. I am messaging her. I left her a voicemail. There are about nine items um, that I had to make changes to. And um, what else? Nine items I had to make changes to. And then two items that I guess pretty much weren't available, I believe, or... I was oh I was asking for alternatives on them but she didn't respond <laughs> and then a couple items I had to um, actually just refund her because of no response and then the rest of them were just like swapped out oh, sorry the rest of them just needed to be swapped out so um, I'm actually about to leave and then I'll be on my way we're gonna see how this how do you say we're gonna see how the delivery goes. So I will catch you guys later, but an hour and 20 minutes for 94 bucks, not bad. Well, this is just shopping time. I never really include, if you guys haven't noticed, I never really, really include the delivery time. Um, so it's 12.13 and the order is due at 12.37. So that's really not bad, I'm excited. And it's only one person in line in front of me. So um, yes, BRB. All right, you guys, I'm back in my car. It's 12.30. It roughly took me an hour and a half to shop. I would just give it like an hour and a half for like a heavy estimate. And then, of course, the line. The thing I like about Costco is that they were packaging things for me. She scanned everything for me, packaged everything for me. I didn't have to do nothing, but I don't know if that's normal. You guys let me know down below. I have no clue. But I've never been to Costco before. Maybe like once with a friend. But I wasn't paying no mind. I'm just like, I don't need nothing from Costco. I don't buy in bulk for anything because, well, it's only me. I don't have kids. So, well, well, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoy shopping there. I'm considering getting a card, a member card, because their produce is so fresh and everything is ready. You don't have to pick through it. Um, like for waters, I would, you know, I may just get a Costco membership. Who knows? But anyway, I called the lady for a second time. Uh, she finally, you know, answered her phone and I explained to her like a couple items are not there, blah, 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 just so you know. And she was like, oh, you know, it's okay. I'm sorry I didn't answer. I was literally texting her. I probably texted her like eight times, but I just like to be thorough. Um, and she didn't respond. And yeah, so, um, it was pretty good for 97 bucks and it was a lot of work though and my cart was very heavy because these are not just regular items of course they're bulk items um but other than that i mean it definitely is worth 94 dollars because of all the traveling i had to do and then i overheard the clerk and another clerk have or two clerks having a conversation about instacart and i had asked him a, i needed to find something so i was inquiring with him and then i was like so what were you guys saying about instacart and he was just saying that, you know, we can come in now at 6 o'clock. Not only can we come through the back, but we can also come at 6 a.m. before all, you know, while they're stocking the warehouse. So I may just get up at 6 o'clock in the morning because this morning it was at 6 o'clock. I started getting a request or whatnot. I think it was like, yeah, 6 o'clock, 545. I was getting requests on my phone, but I wasn't getting up, honey. I went back to sleep and didn't wake up until like nine o'clock. So um, I may just do that, especially, I didn't know y'all, I didn't know I lived this close. I literally am less than four miles, like from a Costco. I'm shocked, I'm shook. So I may be at Costco more often now because all the, I had seen, I've been seeing like $30 requests for Costco. This and that's $40, $30, but I'm like, where is this Costco at? And every time I just hadn't wanted to, I didn't want to, 
and all this time i haven't been wanting to drive four miles but i'm like honey if it's this close it's better than going out to glendale it's better than going out to anywhere else avondale wherever else costco is this is the closest one to me so i think it's literally about three miles so i'm probably just gonna come here and that's it <laughs> um but yeah anyway let me go take this to her she is about four to five miles or five miles away from here um so that's not too bad either and yeah i'm just so grateful y'all and this was just like a good morning a good way to start the morning or i guess the afternoon for me um yeah so i will catch you guys when i drop her stuff off to her it's 12 54 so i would say maybe that's roughly like two hours um from start to finish from start at the how do you say at the grocery store i'm sitting here waiting for a new order um i haven't really seen anything that i'm like too enthralled with so i decided that i would just probably go through some orders with you guys and let you know my thought process so here we have a ten dollar order ten dollar and seven cents one full service order um one full service order, $10, 15 items, 22 units. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, but I just feel like I don't want to go in the store just for $10. Like, honestly, I want to at least do like a dub or like this would have been fine, but it's two full service orders. I'm not doing that. Um, these are quite far from me. I'm trying to stay in my area this isn't too bad if this wasn't a two full service if this wasn't two orders basically i would be totally down to do it but it's two orders so let's see here nothing else is coming about um there's another one that came about okay so let's go to ships i'm probably just gonna go in the house for a second i mean i don't want, i hate to do that but honestly let me do central just where i am okay two dollar promo see this is this the type of stuff i like hey i like that 15 dollar promo if you guys haven't noticed this is typically what i do um and the promos are guaranteed money because nine times out of ten this is a rush um meaning that Oh, that was another notification for Instacart. This means that this is a rush order. Nobody has picked it up for whatever reason. So they always put a promo on top of it so that somebody can grab it. I think that person that's going to grab it is going to be me. This should at least be, you know, $25 and up just for this order uh, going to Safeway. But it says Central North. Where is this? Let's look at the, um, look at their, look at their list and see what they got here. So some juices, a case of water. Okay, some almond milk or whatever. Okay, so they don't have nothing crazy. They don't have anything crazy. <laughs> I had a lady the other day in my last, well no, yesterday. I didn't even put that video up. I may put that video up. If I do, I'll tag it up here. But yeah, this lady, she ordered like house supplies and then we had to find alternatives. And then when we found alternatives, we can only have one of each. She got like four of each and it was kind of funny, so um total waste of time <laughs> before an hour i wouldn't be mad at this you know claim order let's just go ahead and claim the order let's go ahead and do it boo so now that we claim the order i'm gonna head there now it's due between 12 p.m and 3 p.m one thing that i do like about um shipped is that it gives you an estimated time as to how long it should take you it should take about i think it said 53 minutes or something like that so it could be worse we're gonna make at least 26 dollars to 30 dollars an hour which i'm not mad about and i hope that they have all this man's items so i can get 30 dollars <laughs> but if not i'm cool with 26 26 is good that's at the least you know 15 plus 1126 so quick update i just checked my instagram instagram for instacart i see that they um lowered my um i don't know i wouldn't say they it's just a couple items that were missing anyway so um instead of 94 dollars, my total is 
$85.55, which I'm still not mad at, to be honest with you, though. So I'm just gonna assume because I was missing items, um, you know, or whatever the case. Oh, no, 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 because she got four refunds. See, I'm loving this. I'm now, I'm so happy that I can see um my details okay so it, for anybody else who watched my last couple videos or at least my first instacart video even the second one um if you haven't seen those click up here but in those videos i was stating that i could not see my batch summary at all and what i discovered is that it was because i was new to instacart and that was my first week now last night sunday was the end or i guess this morning was the ending of the pay cycle so as of this morning i literally am able to see my batch history and i love that so i can see what people um you know what they refunded um how i refunded people or what people were refunded money for so this person she has four refunded items and then um five replacement items it's just a system because it says order adjustments affected tip amount if you check that out so I don't think the customer manually did it. The system does it by itself, uh, which is totally fine because I'm grateful, honey. It's $85, okay? It was supposed to be 94. It's 10, dollars less. It is okay. So I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, customer tip adjustments to an order may result in a change in total tip amount as tips are percentage of the order total. Customers have up to three days to modify the tip after completion. If the tip changes, we'll tell you why. Oh, good. So they, so if like a, per, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Okay, I didn't know that. Anyway, I have to be on my way to this particular order through shipped. I just wanted to go ahead and update you guys with that. Um, like I said, I'm so grateful, so grateful for eighty five dollars, man. So grateful. So I will see you guys soon, y'all. I'm about to go in Safeway. And look what just happened. I, my, I guess my sunglasses melted in the sun. Shit, I'm so sad. I love these glasses. It literally, you know, these were like melted together or something. So I'm gonna see if somebody can fix them. I keep a bunch of glasses on deck, honestly, but I don't really like these glasses like I love them, you know? And I used to hate wearing glasses until I moved to Arizona almost. It'll be like a year in May. I used, to, I used to think that was so corny. I'm like, why do y'all have glasses on? Cause I like the sun all in my face and stuff. But now when I started driving Uber and Lyft and I started, you know, being out, I'm like, yeah, I need some glasses for real. So, but I'm so disappointed. I'm so very sad. <laughs> this has never happened before. And I was literally picking them up out of the sun. It was sitting here and I was picking them up to put them right here so that, you know, they wouldn't melt in the sun, but Jesus. Anyway, let me go in here and get this order done and then I will hit you guys up later. All right, you guys, I am back. I need to charge my phone. I need to charge this camera. I just got done with that order. This is exactly why I love promos, simply because that money is guaranteed. I got paid a total of $29.40, close enough to 30 bucks. $15 of that, of course, is the promo. The other is the fee for uh you know delivery and shopping and i have not gotten a tip yet um but to be honest with you i don't really care if i get a tip because i just made 30 bucks in like an hour and 15 minutes so um it's not that i don't care if i get a tip because y'all know i love my monies okay once again it's just a simple fact of once again placing yourself in the predicament that you want to be in so if you know if you don't get a tip hey you're satisfied with the work that you did and how much you made but $27, oh my nails look horrible, but I'm gonna be beer this week. $27 in tips from last week. I don't know what that's about. So they've added that and this week I've already made $54.40. I don't know what that's about exactly, but I guess my tips from last week, even though last week with uh, shipped, I made $128 total. So I don't know guys, whatever. Um, I'm gonna stay on the grind. It's 318 and I'm gonna do some Instacart or see, you know, what else is on shipped. And yeah, I kind of want to drive Uber. You guys, so at the same Costco that I went to this morning, I just snagged a $44 and some change um, order. So we're gonna see 
um, how quick I can be. This is 29 items and 29 units. I'm really excited about it. Um, I didn't really check the person's, um, I didn't check the person's, how do you say, the, the like the, 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 the details, I didn't check. I'm like, I don't know, I hopefully <laughs> they don't have anything too crazy, but I was able to go past a natural grocers, which I'm super excited about. Natural grocers is a like, um, pretty much like a health food store to have all organic whatever um all of that good stuff but i love this store because they have like loose herbs i can give me a good bottle of alkaline water i don't have to settle for spring water or any other type of water and i could give me like a little granola bar or something something to give me energy that's like i was gonna say sour that's kind of like sweet um oh i look tired <laughs> something that's kind of sweet you know but that's not gonna like weigh me down because there's a taco bell next door and i was thinking about getting a like a, a bean gordy to crunch so i ended up grabbing fig bar which i love blueberry anything some alkaline water my favorite brand of alkaline water and some naked green juice which i didn't mean to do but um it was it wasn't on sale i guess the price was like super low for like 2.95 i've never seen that before so i was like you know what let me just give me some juice. The report that it is 3:51 and Costco is like empty. So happy I am. So um, hopefully it takes me less than an hour to get I think about 26 items, and I will update you guys when I leave because nothing else fun or interesting is happening. It's really dead, as you can see. Very dead. Nobody, just me. Of course, it's just not me, but you know, not a lot of people. <laughs> this freaking guy ordered a dog bed. Like, this is gigantic, y'all. I'm tall, so I can carry it easy, but Jesus. On top of all of this stuff. And I'm two minutes. I think, yeah. Sorry. I'm two, three minutes past my hour mark, which I'm still pretty excited about. So my phone is about to die. I have to get these last two items. And get to check out before then i have faith that i'll be able to do it and i bet you my phone dies exactly when i get to the car i'm sitting here thinking to myself what the hell <laughs> is water suffering us all but i forgot people here have pools so this is the last item that i have to get and i don't know i don't know how to get it down i gotta call somebody so i had to reach out to somebody to inquire about the water suffering or salt um it's literally right here on the second aisle right there but he said he has to call a senior manager. So hopefully I can get out of here in time. I mean, your girl, I'm steady recording like, you know, the things you do for YouTube. I'm steady recording like my phone ain't about to die. Like I'm not, like I can't, you know, like I'm gonna have to go back to the car to charge my phone, come back in here and check out. But no, seriously, my car is quite close. So if I have to do it, I will do it. But I just wanna get the hell out of here and I'm waiting. <sighs> All right, he was so nice. He ended up just pulling one down for me. Y'all need me get to see it. Yeah, he didn't. He just pulled one down for me. So now I'm about to go. So happy. I'm still maybe like 10 minutes past my hour window, but I'm again still happy about that. So I'm about to check out, and I should have enough juice just to give him a barcode. And yeah, I'm, excited. I'm so happy. So I'm back. I text this guy at 3.49 telling him that I'm here, blah, blah, blah. Throughout my whole stay in Costco, honey, for like an hour, he did not text me back. He still has not texted me back. I have called his phone and went straight to voicemail. Um, I left him a voicemail, so we're just going to pull up and drop off his stuff because that's really not my problem any longer. I'm really not going to be emotionally invested into these people. If y'all not going to answer y'all phone, you know you got a grocery ordery, ordery or you know, a grocery order and yeah so i refunded him for i think about four items i had to switch out one item so i'm pretty sure my little 44 dollars and i say little because y'all don't know what i just went through not only did i have to wait for this saw or whatever but then these people the first time around i came to costco today they packaged everything for me in the cardboard boxes okay cool this time they gave me boxes and i had to put the stuff up myself and honestly i will say that i prefer this box method because it is earth friendly but it's also better than plastic bags right so then i'm sitting here i'm like damn i need another box i can't roll up to his house 
and just hand him alcohol because you know it's illegal to walk around with alcohol so i'm like damn so i had to go back in there which thank god my car was close i had to go back in there get a box talk to three people just to get a box and now i'm gonna proceed it's 5 27 i do plan on doing one more instacart probably instacart because the probability of me making more than $30 is really high. Um, plus, from 6.30 to 8.30, we can, um, yeah, 6.30 to closing, Instacart people can actually come to the back of, what do you call this place, Costco. So in the event that it's really crowded or whatever. So I'm loving Costco because I'm learning where everything is. Um, what I'm not loving, per the usual, as you know, if you've been watching my channel, these people and how non-responsive they are i just forgot about one very important detail here so this guy i'm dropping his stuff off i called him he didn't answer and went straight to voicemail right text him through the app nothing okay so i have to verify i literally have to verify <laughs> verify his identity because he has three bottles of alcohol so i am hoping and praying that this man answer the door baby because i don't got time i am back in my car i just dropped off the stuff thank god when i run the doorbell homie answered i'm like bro what are you a russian spy like <sighs> and i just let him know like hey if you're missing a few items you know it's because i wasn't able to contact you I was messaging <laughs> I was messaging you the whole time through the app. Also, you know, um, I gave you a call and it was going straight to voicemail, etc., etc. So, and then he had like his front, his front, front of his house laced up with cameras. Kind of reminds me of my dad. My dad is like that. My dad does not play. Every part of the house, the back, the yard, his shop, everything is cameraed up. But anyway, guys, I'm about to run home really quick. I need to wash my hands like for real. I have hand sanitizer here, but uh, I just really wanna wash, wash my hands. Like, I wanna sit down for a second, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm about to do that. Probably charge my phone and my camera and my portable charger, which is why I've been so creeped out about um, filming. But yes, I will talk to you guys in a second. All right, guys, so I came in the house and I don't know what happened. I went, I just, I didn't even go to sleep. I just been relaxing and boom, it's the middle of the night. So I made $164 today. One thirty of that was from Instacart. Another $34 and some change was from my one order via um, shipped. And yeah, that was pretty good for today for I think maybe about five hours of work. Um, Maybe it was more. Come to think of it. Mm. Anyway, I digress. I'm excited that I made that much. Uh, I wanted to go out and do another Instacart batch, but then I just got super relaxed. Then I just started editing a video that I had from yesterday. So click this link here and check it out. And yeah, guys, so you know, that's what it is for today. Um, today was Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I do plan to get up in the morning. I don't know how, you know, how dedicated I am to that idea. But I have this idea of getting up early in the morning because there are batches coming through at 6 a.m. Okay, 6.30 a.m., whatever. And so my new place apparently is Costco. I like it. I'm learning within two visits today how it goes. I've enjoyed it. I enjoy the money that I made today at Costco. Um, so yeah, guys, we're gonna do that tomorrow morning and you're gonna see how it goes. And if you wanna join Instacart or Shift or anything else, go ahead and click the link below. I just wanna say that I appreciate you all for watching. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. You guys are so sweet and amazing. You're giving me some beautiful feedback and I'm totally appreciative. Um, and yeah, so, I just wanted to share how my day was today from beginning to end. It was very successful, I would say. It's been a very productive day, even outside of, you know, my deliveries. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Stay at peace and in love.